Hi, I'm Revant. This is part 24 of Web Services video series. In this session, we will discuss creating proxy through WSDL document. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are visit revanthwebservice.somi.com and download the WSDL document. Creating a proxy in the Visual Studio using WSDL document and different ways of creating a proxy using WSDL document. So let's begin the tutorial. In previous videos, I have discussed testing web service using Fiddler tool in part 21 and in part 22, I have discussed calling web service from JavaScript using Ajax. In part 23, I have discussed calling web service multiple parameters from JavaScript using Ajax. Types of creating a proxy using WSDL document. So there are two different types we can create a proxy in the client application and call the web service through by add service reference and add web reference. These are the two different types we can create and call the web service from the Visual Studio. So let's look in action by creating a proxy in the client application. Visit ravanthwebservice.somi.com and click on this service description that will open the visual document. So this is the visual document. Let's copy this XML content. Let's copy and open notepad and paste and save the file. Let's save the file. Ravent web service dot WSDL. Let's save the file. Now let's take a look at the saved WSDL document. Let's open the folder. This is the WSDL document. Let's copy the path of the visual document. Let's open in the web browser. So this is the document. It is taking the local folder path. Now let's flip to Visual Studio and add service reference. Let's create client application. Add, add new project. Select Visual C Sharp as the template and select Windows. Let's rename the project as Client Application. Click on OK button. That will create the client application. Now right click on the project and click on Add Service Reference paste the path of the visual document and click on go button. So the service which contains four methods get array, get current time, get XML data and hello. This is one way of adding service reference by uh, using add service reference. Let's click on OK button that will create the proxy. So the proxy has been created. And another way of adding service reference is by add web reference. Let's go to advanced. Click on add web reference. Paste the path of the visual document click on go button. Let's give the let's give the web reference uh, name and click on add references. So these are the two types of uh, adding visual document to the visual studio to create a client proxy and call the web service. Let's now drag and drop one button.
and double click on the button to create event handler when you double click on the add web reference it will open the object browser in that we have all the references added by the visual studio through the visual document so we can use this service to connect to the web service and get the methods let's give service so it is using add web reference click on that that will add the namespace here service dot so we have the method get array get current time get xml along with this there is hello so which takes input parameter has name has a string let's pass the string has raven and it is re returning the response as a string so let's give let's give the response as web response let's put a breakpoint here and build the solution so build succeeded let's run the project click on the button so breakpoint hits so it gives the response as hello raven let's stop debugging and write now let's double click on the add service reference so it is using service soap client to connect to the service L let's give has so it is using add service reference let's give client dot hello it is it is taking string has the input parameter let's pass string has raven so it is returning string has the response let's give that and let's run the application click on button so it's gives the hello raven has the response let's give so it's gives the raven hello raven has the response so it is giving the same response through the web reference and from adding through by add service reference in next video we will discuss difference between web reference and service reference thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you